There are many cases where you may have a high value operator that you want to really maximize his skills. An example of that would be uh, in a welding area. And here I've got a welding operation. And what I've done is I've time studied all of the different activities that's performed by this particular operator. You can see as a welder here. And then what we want to do is uh, classify the work content that the guy is doing. So if we come over here from our time study, we click on this, and we can come down to our user defined areas here. And what we've done here is we've defined different uh, types of work that the operator is doing. Obviously, he's a welder. That's a very high-paid job. And uh, you might want to make sure that you're maximizing the amount of welding you're getting from the operator. So you can see here I've got the weld time. So if you can see, if you're looking here at the tasks, they've been defined as some setup activities, material handling, some more setup. And then here's the first actual weld point down here. So in this job, we can scroll down. You can see then he gets quite involved in doing uh, welding. And then at the end of the job, again, he has some uh, material handling activities down here. So really what we're looking to see whether uh, we can min min minimize the external activities and maximize the actual weld time here. And this gives you an idea how you can break the job down here. Now to do this, obviously, what you're doing is you're bringing up the, uh, uh, the user defined. You're editing the groups here and you can add your own categories here you can color code them appropriately and so forth and then once it's done you basically highlight a particular element so let's say the first three activities were not going to be set up they were going to be material handling i would click on this and all you do is you just click on the material handling here and you see it changes the setting here to material handling so you can run down very quickly and run through this and change it back here if i want to put it back to setup i can do it right here so what you do is you run down through the process and you identify each of the activities the operator is doing with a particular category of work here. Now, obviously, when you're finished here, you can go up to the top here, you can do a summary. And this will show you a little chart that breaks it out by the weld time, uh, the, the fixtures, the setup, and the material handling here. You can see it here as well here. But we can also pass this information from here uh, directly over into the uh, balancing area to do some additional analysis here. In terms of the flowchart, if we bring up the flowchart here, you can see what we're doing here is we're taking the data from here and we're passing it from the video time study into our process analysis here. So all I do is I come over here, I click on my time preview, and it's going to take that information and pass it over. Now here's all the work content of the operator here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my other option here. And this is where I've got my user defined. So I click on this, and now it presents the same information we had in the other area, except now we're in our uh, uh, balancing area here. So things you can do here, for instance, would be maybe go up here to the summary, maybe produce a Gantt chart. And if we export this to Excel, it's going to show you that job broken out in Excel. Down here, you can see it putting it together here. You can see the actual breakdown of the entire job here. But what you're really interested in is perhaps getting a uh, an overview of how the work content is split here. So what you can do is go to the reporting option here, reports. And here we get the first option is a value added summary, which just shows you the breakdown of the value added and the non value added work content. So you can see here there is a 52% is value added. 11% uh, is non-value added and uh, another 35% is actually these required non-value added. You can export this to Excel here too. But the more interesting one is here is view, view report here. And this shows you the breakdown of the weld time, the fixture, the setup, material handling here. So you can see it broken down here. You can export this to Excel by clicking right here. And now it's going to be out into Excel right here. And you can see it preserves all the color codes out here. So here you could do any other charting you might want to do to analyze the uh, the job here. So really what we're looking here is to, to maximize the weld time, which is only one third of the job. Uh, and that means that uh, two thirds of the job is actually uh, non-weld time. And that's not, of course, what we're looking for here. So you might want to look at it here and decide what you can do to improve the process here. And uh, the final report here is by category, value added, and so forth. So here's the weld time. And then down here, you've got the uh, the walk. And it shows you the percents out here. So you can change the uh, the, the uh, sizing here to make it fit onto the screen better for you. And um, then you can scroll down and see everything. There's another report that you can export right here. You just export to Excel. And it will dump it out to Excel for you right here. And when it sends it out to Excel, notice it preserves the colors here for you. 
uh, so you can analyze the job any way that you want. So again, the use of the uh, user defined categories is an excellent way to allow you to look at the job and see if you might be able to maximize the uh, work here. Now in this example, uh, you might want to get some assistance here so that the uh, welding operator is not doing so much of the uh, of the material handling and the setup and so forth and he's concentrating more on the weld time here.